Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do the Sin City coloring effect, or if you want to go back a little further, the Schindler's List Girl in the Red Coat. Very, very famous scene. I'm going to show you how to do this. What does it look like? Simple. It looks like this. You've got everything in black and white except for one object. In this case, we've got a red hat. I'm also going to show you some bonus footage where we're going to change that color of the hat to, let's say, like a blue hat. So if you see it here, I'm going to go ahead and presto. We've gone ahead and changed that from, uh, well, from full color to from, well, let's just go ahead and show you. There's nothing here. This is a regular shot to her walking around with a blue hat. Totally different than what happens. Anyways, let's get right into this. I'm going to delete some of these uh, effects here. And we're going to start from scratch. The first step here is, of course, Drag and drop some footage into your timeline. We've got this girl here walking around in full color with a red hat. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to your effects panel. Right here, It's for me, it's at the top under effects. And if you don't see it, make sure you go to window. Make sure there's a check beside effects and effect controls. In effects, type in leave. And you're going to get an obsolete video effect called leave color. This is still the best way to do this, although they may be coming up with something new. But right now, it's the best way dragged and dropped it onto the footage. All right, cool. Now, when we go down to leave color, you're going to see a few things. One, color to leave. I'm going to left click on that rectangle and it's going to open up and I'm going to left click on the eyedropper and I'm going to select a red. I want to select a mid-tone is my preference, somewhere between the darkest red and the brightest red. Something like that looks pretty good. There is no effect yet. It hasn't done anything. Don't panic. The next step, you want to decolor this to 100%. This is starting to look correct, but again, this is a little streaky on the hat. It's not quite there. The next step, and this is the critical one, is you want to go to match colors, and instead of using RGB, which is red, green, blue, I believe, we want to go to using hue. When you do that, we have the effect we are going for. That might be all you need to do. This is fantastic. This looks great. If you want to go a step further and change the color of the hat, because you're in one of those strange moods, go back to the effects panel, type in change. Oops, if I could just do that. You're also going to find a two options, change color, change to color. Change to color is the correct one. Drag and drop that onto the timeline and or onto the footage, and we get a second effect down here. Now, here's the interesting part. What we want to do is we want to change this red to a different color. So I'm going to left click on the rectangle. I'm going to left click on the eyedropper. I'm going to take the red here. So I'm going to again try and get a mid-tone or a middle color. Left click on that. And I'm going to change that from red. I'm going to left click on the white. And I'm going to change it to some sort of dark. Well, let's go with some sort of weird. No, let's go with like a dark purple or something. I don't know. Something like that. We want it to be purple. Okay, when we do that, it takes a few seconds. Actually, that was pretty quick. But when we scan through it now, this lady went from having a red hat in a, in a colored video to having a purple hat in a black and white video. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.